Hi Ninja Traders, with this video I'm going to run through the advanced setup of the Fibonacci Angle Fan in Ninja Trader 8. This is a powerful tool for Fibonacci traders and, and particularly traders that like to take their Fibonacci's in gradient form and not just horizontals as you would with Fibonacci retracement levels. Now what's the advantage of this? Well when you have your Fibonacci's available in gradient form you ha have access to some really good forward trend line navigation in the charts and this also also gives you very likely support and resistance regions. Okay, let's get into it. First I'm assuming that you've installed the Fibonacci Angle Fan and when installed you'll find it in the Drawing Tools panel of NT8. The default application to your chart will look something like this. You'll have a central arm and then all the other gradient displays are 1.618 golden ratio deviations from that central arm. If you're new to the concept of Fibonacci, the key thing to know is that 1.618 is the Fibonacci golden ratio, a centerpiece of what can only be called fascinating mathematical sequencing that are Fibonacci's. Okay, so the Fibonacci angle fan or the fangle fan, as I know some of you have told me you like to call it, it's loaded to a chart. You've got deviations of 1.618, 2.61 and 4.23 above and below the central arm of the fan. And together this gives you seven Fibonacci angle splays in the default application. Now for some that might be enough Fibonacci trend lines. For others, myself included, that's not nearly enough. So let's have a look at how we would be adding more. Right click the apex of the fan and this will pull up the properties panel. Go to the label Fibonacci angles and access this submenu. This is where you'll key in your preferences for more Fibonacci angles. Now clearly you'll want to be adding in additional Fibonacci gradients that continue the deviation of 1.618 from the previous fan line. Let's pause the input process for a second and take a look at what those numbers might be. So grabbing a calculator, let's start at the beginning and step through how we've got our default levels first and then it will become obvious how we mathematically uh, derive any additional splay lines to the series. So we start with 1.618. To get the next Fibonacci level in the series, we multiply 1.618 by 1.618 again and we get 2.61. Multiply 2.61 by 1.618, the golden ratio, again, and this time we get 4.23, and so that's how we've got our defaults. We add Fibonacci angles steeper than this, we just keep multiplying the last fan line number by 1.618, like what I'm doing here. And you can now see that this spirals out a number sequence, all in Fibonacci proportions. And each of those numbers are the numbers you'll want to key in to the properties panel of the fan to add your additional lines. So it's all down to user preference how many sharper or shallower lines you want to use. Intraday traders tend to, to need more and particularly a sharper set. The point is if you think the market is influenced by Fibonacci proportions you're never going to run out of tracking lines with the Fibonacci angle fan. In some of my other Fibonacci Angle Fan videos, you'll see how I employ this many lines and why they're such helpful real-time charting tools to help you navigate the market. Check out the links below or subscribe to get notified of new videos to the channel.